this old building is currently being uh, uh, gutted for its you know, natural old antique wood that remains inside the structure even though the you know, the bulk of the building has already fallen down and, and will probably face demolition in the near future. Let's take a trip inside to see what kind of work they're doing here at the old hardware store on the square in Plymouth, Probably Illinois. 15, 10, well, 12 to 15 houses uh -huh. a year and several commercial buildings or schools a year. We've had all the neat old schools just about have been torn down in Burlington in recent years. So we've had an opportunity to go in and salvage some good stuff out of them. Mm -hmm. It, it ends up being you know, quite a tedious process so you know, to you know, to get all this stuff done, isn't it? Yes, it is. It takes a lot of volunteer time. So you depend pretty much on volunteers uh, you know, oh, with entirely. the preservation? Entirely. Wow. I guess the good question is how do you manage to earn a living? Huh? I said, how do you manage to earn a living if it's all volunteer? You must spend an awful lot of hours at this sort of thing. Well, you'll s we'll spend two or three weekends in a row, and then we'll go a couple of months without a project, mm -hmm. and then we'll do another one or yeah. two. And, yeah. Uh, so, yeah, that one's clean and ready to go now. Wow. And that one's never been painted, so that one somebody could clean up and, and uh, stain and varnish. Mm-hmm. That has definite potential. Uh, it is kind of strange, isn't it? <laughs> the, you know, the craftsmanship on these things is really remarkable while you start thinking oh, about yes. it. It is. You look at that profile and and it's beautiful, beautiful wood. Oh yeah. That's the other thing we run into is that a lot of the old wood was old growth wood, so it had a tighter grain to it than anything you can buy today. Hmm. And it's just really uh, a, a preferable building material. Yeah, probably if my you buy new lumber today, and if you don't use it right away, it'll warp so much you'll have trouble using it. Oh God! This old stuff mm -hmm. is uh, is a lot straighter generally. Yeah, uh, a lot a lot stouter. A lot yeah, that piece obviously is sure. No, it looks pretty straight, even though it's been in a building that has settled for years. And well, and it's in a window that has fallen in who knows how long ago. Yeah, <laughs> laying on a wet floor. Mm -hmm. It's still in pretty good shape. So. It is pretty remarkable when you start thinking about it. It's really, really neat. And we just can't, can't tell you enough how much we just have a passion for uh, putting this stuff back to use. Mm -hmm. To me, it's, it's almost a spiritual thing. You, you want to be a good steward of resources. Everything in here is made out of natural resources and then has value added from the craftsmanship that went into it. Mm -hmm. And most of us don't mind a few little nicks and dings in the woods somewhere along the line just to have handcrafted stuff yeah. that we work with. A lot of us live in old houses. Mm -hmm. uh, these are the kinds of materials you need to properly fix up an old house. Well, I know. Well, Reproduction parts don't get it. <laughs> well, I know we bought. No, I know we bought a house. Uh, no, uh, that was uh, no, early 20th century here in Plymouth, and it had no. And it kind of bugged me to see you know, woodwork you know, that had been painted over. There was some that was original mm -hmm. in there, and, and they really looked nice. And the other, it's just. No. Well, it, and it depends. I have a house that was built in 1873, and most of the wood in it was originally painted. Huh. There were a few showcase pieces, like the staircase and the front door, that were natural and mm. nicer woods. The yeah. rest of it actually was yellow pine, and some of it was faux grained, mm -hmm. um, but most of it was designed to be painted, and that, that's in keeping with the Italianate style of house. Well, that's good. Yeah, so, uh, well, I'm glad that somebody's taking care of it. And I, I found, if you look at like the base trim over here, you have the multi-curved base cap on top of it. That mm -hmm. actually shows off better when it's painted a light color. Mm -hmm. When you leave it natural and it, like a walnut stain or a dark stain, mm -hmm. you don't see the curves as much. Yeah. Because you don't get the play of light and shadow on it. Yeah. On and 
different times in history as far as being the favorite. Uh, it certainly can be beautiful, but painting can be beautiful too. So. Mm -hmm. it, it just depends on how well it's done. And, and the look you're, you're going for. Mm -hmm. Well, I thank you very much for your time. It's really thank been you. a pleasure to uh, talk with you, and uh, you. Uh, 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 I wish you well in your project. Thanks. And uh, if you want to stop in the hotel up there, you can probably get a hold of some other volunteers that are working up that way. Okay, I might well do that. Thank you. Sure. Thanks.